All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson. So just when you thought the whole ordeal with Cyborg was said and done, it's not. So a couple hours ago, Cyborg posted to her Twitter and Instagram and everything. She basically issued a statement saying that the video that she released earlier this week on her Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, everything else, was indeed doctored. So I'm going to go ahead and release this statement or read this statement out to you guys. Quote, Hey guys, I know that many people saw the video of my confrontation with Dana White after UFC 240 that was posted on my official YouTube channel, Twitter account, and Instagram account. I want to let everyone know that the video was edited by my production team to make it appear as though Dana told me Double quote. And listen, whenever you hear me saying stuff, I'm not saying the truth. And double quote. Dana did not say that to me, and the subtitles in the video were incorrect. As you can see from the unedited video, Dana actually said, and listen, whenever you hear me saying stuff, I'm not saying negative things about you. Dana and I have had many disagreements during my career in the UFC, and I have been adamant about standing up for myself in situations where I feel my character and statements have been misrepresented and used against me. But I also take pride in being an honest person and a true professional. I take full responsibility for the actions that resulted in the edited video being posted on my social media accounts. We were wrong and I have addressed this issue with my production team so that it doesn't ever happen again in the future. Finally, I want to apologize to Dana White for posting the video. Even though we will continue to disagree about numerous issues, I will always stand up for doing what is right. Okay, so she said admits to the wrongdoing, blames it on her production team. Uh, honestly, I think this is coming too little, too late out of Cyborg. I think that it has been made plainly clear plain clear to her and her team that they made a huge misstep because after here's here's what happened when you when Dana White released that video saying we are going to release her from uh, the exclusive bargaining uh, matching rights time they basically said go get whatever offer you can get now because guess what we don't have to offer it which means the other promotions can literally offer you whatever they want, as little as they want. And it was a smart move by Dana White. I mean, you know, without now that they know that the UFC is not going to try to match it, they don't have to try to pay her a ton of money now because they, she has to take whatever they offer them now. And if she were to somehow go crawling back to the UFC, they don't have to give her as much as she wants now. They can now offer her lower if the UFC were to end up making her an offer. I'm not entirely sure that they will, but I'm not entirely sure that they won't either. Um, Dana did reply to the tweet saying, thanks, Chris. I don't think uh, that's going to mend the fences. I don't think we'll see Cyborg back in the UFC, but I'm not, but I'll admit, excuse me, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but this was a huge misstep on her team's uh, part. I mean, honestly, this should not have happened in the first place. You shouldn't have released that video in the first place, okay? That was supposed to be a conversation between two people. You're not supposed to record that kind of stuff. Even in 2019, that is still pretty trashy to record a conversation between two people like that without one person knowing. Um, and honestly, Cyborg's team failed her big time. Now, I don't mean all of her team, her training team, like Jason Perla and all them. You know, they do their job. They get the job done. Jason Perla is a great coach. You know, he's coached several UFC champions, been with a bunch of great fighters. I mean, Cyborg's team not directly involved in training, whether that's her manager, uh, whatever Ray's job is on her team, allegedly, um, everyone else on that team failed her. 
and I don't believe that it was entirely up to her production team. Okay, I'm sure that if not her, then the people that are very the closest to her knew what was going on. Okay, and I'm not entirely I don't entirely believe that Cyborg was innocent in this either. Okay. Cyborg now needs to clean house. Okay, if I were if it were me, I would get rid of everybody not related directly to training and I would hire new staff. Okay, which first of all, she's a fighter. How much staff do you need? Okay, you need a manager, you need maybe an agent, and that's it. Okay, and I would get rid of Ray too. Allegedly. I'm always going to use that word around him because he seems litigious. Allegedly. Um, Cyborg needs to clean house. Just get a whole new team. Period. Okay. So now here's another big question. How will the MMA media react to this after they've been favoring her throughout the entire thing? Okay, because here's my here's one of my biggest problems with the MMA media. Most of them aren't journalists. Most of them aren't reporters. Honestly, the vast majority of the MMA media is made up of commentators. Okay, they don't break news. They don't. Uh, most of them don't break news. Most of them don't do interviews. All most of them do is give opinions and commentate on their little podcasts, their little articles, whatever. But for the most part, the MMA media is garbage. And here's the thing. The media is the media's job is to report the truth to people in as neutral a view as possible. But for the most part, they have all been favoring Cyborg over the UFC. Now, I get it. Most of them hate Dana White in the UFC. I'm not a fan of Dana White. I've been accused of being a shill before. Uh, people in my comments have actually said, called me a shill. I'm not, okay? I'm just not a big fan of Cyborg, period. I've made that obvious. I've straight up said it before. I'm not a big fan of Cyborg. So maybe I'm a little biased against her. I'll admit that. But you got to at least try to report things as neutrally as possible. That's why I'm making this video. Because stuff like this needs to be known. The problem with the MMA media is that they've been on riding Cyborg's jock and being so anti-UFC, so anti-Dana White. And they all embraced this video. They, woo, they couldn't wait to report on it. And then slam Dana White even more. Well, now the truth's come out, and it was doctored. And by the way, Misha Tate was right. She said this video looked fake, and it was indeed fake and doctored. So now the MMA media has to go, oh, Cyborg lied to us. Like, they have to admit, oh, she's not entirely innocent. Because they've been, Cyborg's been playing the victim card this entire time, and they have been riding that train with her. So now how are they going to react to it? Who knows? I can't wait to see the reactions of uh, Cuck Thomas, uh, Steffi Haynes, and all of them. All of the garbage MMA media that have been just st sticking up and defending Cyborg the whole time. And now they ha basically are going to have to either admit that she is not entirely innocent, or they're going to have to keep, or they're going to have to do what CNN does and just ride that train to death off the cliff. I can't wait to see the reactions of this. I think that's going to be the most exciting part for me. Uh, because these are people who are supposed to be professionals. They're getting paid money. Okay. I'll admit, I'm not a professional. I don't, pre I don't uh, claim to be a professional. I try to act professionally as possible when I'm presenting information to you, the viewer. But I don't claim to be a professional. I mean, look. I've done video. Re I've done uh, fight reviews where I was drunk off my ass. I've done uh, fight companions where I was drinking the whole time. Okay, I'm not a professional, but you know what? I don't get paid. I've never received a single penny for any of the work I've done. But I still try to do the best job possible and present the news as it is. And I'm going to keep on doing that. So I might be negative. I might be anti-cyborg, but I'm not pro UFC either. I've never been, you know, super pro UFC. They they do the best job of they pay the most to the ladies. 
They have the most divisions outside of Invicta. Um, they've honestly done the best job out of any promotion for the ladies. And that's it. But they've also done some really messed up stuff. They've turned on fighters. They turn on fighters, and they do it with the men too. They turn on fighters at the drop of a hat. They've tra they trash their own fighters. Uh, they'll promise things and then take it away. The UFC is not perfect either. And I've talked about that in the past. But overall, the MMA media needs to do better. Okay, They need to try to stay neutral in these kinds of things. Or they need to just straight up say this is commentary. For everything that they do. Because they're not really presenting news. They're presenting a biased perspective. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Um, let me know what you think Excuse me, about this whole situation in the comments uh, below. Likes are always appreciated. And what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMA Scene Now, the best, fastest growing women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. And hit that bell for notifications so you know when I got new stuff coming out. And anyway, we'll see you next time.